Hey everyone, Happy New Year! So this is just going to be a little end of the year wrap up video for reselling in 2018. So basically it's just going to be a video of some of our like what we accomplished or some of our statistics from the year. So I have literally a front and back sheet of this paper full of stuff that I wrote down to mention. So 2018 started off strong. One of the first things that I remember of the year is the big Ross clearance sale that happened. I went to like four or five different Ross stores cleared them out of clearance stuff, spent a couple hundred dollars, got a ton of stuff. We dabbled a little bit in retail arbitrage, arbitrage this year, but our main thing was of course thrifting. This year I went to 185 thrift stores. That includes random thrift stores, Goodwill, the bins, and I'm counting each trip as like uh, one tally on here. So. If I went to the bins 50 times, that counts for 50 out of the 185. Out of those 185 trips to a thrift store, 127 of those was to a Goodwill, whether it's a regular Goodwill store or the bins. Having thrifted at 185 stores over the past year, we spent $9,495.95 on inventory from thrift stores this year. Out of that $9,495.95, $7,401.79 was at a Goodwill, once again, whether it was at Goodwill or the bins. That's kind of crazy to put in respect to almost $10,000 on inventory, but that's less than $1,000 a month, I guess. So when you put it into, I don't, I don't know, it's still a lot of money. The most we spent at a single thrift store was $282.92. That was a Goodwill location. I was going to try and total up how many times like, I went to the bins, but there was it was too complicated. I couldn't really figure that out. Besides thrifting just here in Jacksonville, we also went on a couple trips. We traveled 350 miles to Atlanta for a little sourcing trip. We sourced for about two days, went to a bunch of different thrift stores, found a bunch of good stuff, including four pairs of dojos. We also traveled 86 miles to Daytona Beach, where we just had a little family vacation and also thrifted while we were there. And while we were there, I traveled 70 miles to the Orlando Goodwill outlet and did some sourcing in Orlando as well. Besides those two, I also went to Virginia Beach with my Mimi and sourced while I was there, found a bunch of good stuff. And then we also went on a family vacation at the beginning of August to Orange Beach, Alabama and did a little bit of sourcing there as well. This year we also rearranged our complete workstation. It's actually behind this wall. We completely redid it, went to Ikea, bought a whole new desk and we rearranged the whole room and have a whole new setup that works so much better for us in my opinion. And it's a disaster right now. Yeah, well, whatever. Now I'll get into some of the eBay statistics for the year. So according to eBay's stats, obviously some of this stuff could be off slightly, especially because it was getting all these numbers at like 5 a.m. without having sleep. So, you know, it could be off by a little bit. Our total eBay orders number was 4,294 items sold. Actually, it says orders, so I don't know if like someone bought two items, if it counts it twice or only one. So I I'm not sure on that, but over 4,000 orders, that's a lot, that's crazy, that's cool. Our highest months out of the year were May, which was our very top highest, and then October came in at a close second. In our lowest months, which to be expected because of summer slowdown and also the fact that we didn't work as hard in the summer, was July and August, which is also when we had some vacations. This year, according to eBay's feedback thing, we got 1,756 new feedbacks that were positive and one neutral, but whatever. We had a total of 44 returns this year. Out of those 44, 30 of them were for don't like or change mine or something like that, that weren't item as not described. 14 were item not described. But out of those 14, only three were our fault. That means that 11 people who opened up item not as described cases falsely did so. At the current moment, we have 961 listings on eBay, which is pretty high. However, a couple weeks ago, we were just over a thousand, so we need to get that up in 2019. Moving on to our posh stats, we started posh February 18th of this year, just randomly. I randomly cross-posted five things and... Disclaimer. What? Just in case somebody goes and looks, we had it open prior to that. We oh. just started listing it. True. Our first sale was about a week after we opened it and cross listed some stuff on February 24th. It was this pair of Lululemon crops for $40. And fun fact, 
random as it is, it went to the same city that we live in. In total on Posh since February 18th, we have sold 371 items. Our average shipping rate is 1.0 days and our average rating is 4.9 out of 293 ratings. And currently we have 566 active listings on Poshmark. Similar to eBay, October was our best month on there. It was the only month this year that we hit over $1,000 on Poshmark. And our worst mark, worst mark, worst month was June where we didn't even do 500, so. Now I'm going to talk about five of our best flips from this year. Number one is a Lululemon jacket we sold on Posh. We bought it at Goodwill for $6 and it sold on Posh for $185. Completely our best flip of the year. Our second best flip would be this Patagonia jacket that we actually just sold about a week ago on auction on eBay. We paid a little under $5 for it and sold it for $138. Coming in at number three is this Better brand cardigan. I found it at the bins and apparently it was some rare one and it went for $99.95. Paid maybe like $2 for it since it was at the bins, so that was crazy. Number four, we have like a tie kinda. It is two Kuji or Kogi, sorry, I don't know how to say it, pieces. Um, we found them both the same trip. Kuji? Kuji, I don't know. Found them the same trip to Goodwill, paid $4.49 for each of them. Actually, we might have paid less because we probably used a 20% off coupon. We didn't list them at the same time because we had to deal with one of them just cleaning up a little more. So we list them about a month apart and as crazy as it is, the same person bought both of them a month apart. The first one they bought isn't showing up because it was from over the time period that it can look on eBay. But the second one sold for $88, and I know we sold them for about the same. So if we just say $88 a piece, that makes it $176. So our about $8 or $9 investment into $176 for $88 a piece. Closing out this list at number five are two pairs of fry boots we picked up at Nordstrom Rack's clearance sale. I think it was towards the end of the summer, I believe I wanna say. We spent $46 per pair and sold them, the first one again is not showing up, but I know we sold them for about the same. The second one we sold, sold for $135. So if you do 135 for both, that's 270, and we paid just under $100. So it's almost $170, or just say 150 with fees taking out profit on those two pairs of boots. In 2018, it's crazy how many brands we found that we have never found before. I was looking back to try and compile this list, and it was crazy to me that some of the brands we just found this year. This is gonna be a long list that I read off and it's not even all of them at all. It's just some of my favorite ones that we found this year that we've never found before. This includes Rag and Bone, Alo, I'm counting my fingers like they're all gonna fit. There's so many that it's not gonna fit. Rag and Bone, Alo, Kate Spade, Equipment, I found it at the bins and it was new with tags. First time I ever found it, which was crazy. Toy Birch, Show Me Your Moo Moo, I actually found a couple weeks ago at the bins. Acris and Acris Punto, Beyond Yoga, Simply the Best Canada, M.M. LaFleur, Burberry, Kuji, however you want to say it, Current Elliot, Helmet Lang, Escada, Mark Jacobs, and we found a new Tags Lululemon piece, which was amazing. That was on my bucket list for forever. And lastly, I'm going to round out this video with some social media statistics. On Instagram, we gained almost 2,000 followers this year, which is crazy. That's amazing. Thank you to everyone who follows us on there. Posted 61 different pictures and our most liked photo is this one, which has 403 likes at the moment. It is of the 60 plus packages we sent out when we got back from our vacation from Orange Beach. I also started this YouTube channel a couple weeks ago. There's 36 subscribers so far. And as of now, I have three videos Well, four if you count this video. So yeah, that's it for this video. Wrap up of 2018. When you look back at all these statistics, it's crazy how this year went and how it flew by. I'm going to go Happy New Year to all you guys again and here's to a strong 2019. I don't know what I'm doing with my hand. I feel like I always do something weird at the end of the video with my hand. I don't know.